Hi everybody, I'm going to quickly take you through how to do a vector drawing. So I've just imported one of my photos into Google Drawings and we use the polyline tool and I'm just going to start outlining all of the shapes on my blocks. I've done a fill um, and then I've decided it needs to be transparent so I can actually see what colour it needs to be because I'm trying to match the values and the tones. And I'm also making sure that the outline is transparent as well. I'm then just going around and outlining all of the shapes at once. So I've got the shapes built in and that way I can select them all by using the control click key and I can turn them all into transparent and then start to add the different values of the colours with and I can see then what colours are underneath as well just makes it a bit easier. I realise at this point um, after I did this I should have actually done the outlines tra um, as transparent I do do that later in the video as well. And you can see I'm just selecting colours appropriate to the values and tones of the blocks underneath. I'm now going to do the background and I'm just using the polyline tool first to show you that that's one way to do it. Uh, filling it in and I'm sending it backwards by using the arrange uh, tool from the menu and just keep doing that. Uh, control and the down arrow will also do it. The top part I am just using the square tool or the rectangle tool and you can see I've just moved it over and moved the photograph out of the way so I actually see the colours. I'm also doing a custom gradient on this so I'm changing that light pink to a darker hot pink and I'm just needing to rotate that because I want the gradient to go the other way and again I'm sending it backwards and this time I've just gone a range sender back. Um, here you can see I'm just taking off the black outlines. I need to adjust some of these shapes. You can see that there's gaps between them. So I've just double clicked on each of the shapes and that has allowed me to modify my original shapes that I had created using the polyline tool. I'm now using the polyline tool to actually trace around the shadow of my photograph and then I'll just drag that over and again do a custom gradient on that using a dark, well I originally did a black but I then changed it to a blue. And really that's it. Now it's just finessing all of the little bits and pieces to make sure everything's lining up. If you do have gaps, you can outline the entire shape and just do a grey in that and send that behind the shape so it sits between the um, shapes and the background. Not necessary. Some of you might actually like to leave the outlines of the shapes as a dark grey or a black as well. It, that I don't mind the look of that. So totally up to you how you wish to choose to leave the final piece. Once you've done your um, polyline vector piece, you just need to go file download as JPEG and then that will be uploaded to your Google Classroom.